Here back on World News, Prince William on Thursday paid tribute to a generation lost at the Battle of the Somme, 100 years after the deadliest battle in British history. The Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry attended the start of an all-night vigil at the Tapfall Memorial to honor the 1.2 million troops of different nationalities who were killed, injured or listed as missing. In addition to around 20,000 British fatalities on that first day, tens of thousands more were maimed or wounded. The Tapfall Memorial is the largest Commonwealth War Memorial in the world commemorating more than 76,000 missing servicemen. Last month, the Australian National University in Canberra, Australia, held a shadow puppet performance. Both the audience and the performances consisted of Indonesians and Australians. Kilau Setanggi Timur has more. Late last month, about 300 Australians gathered at the Australian National University Arts Centre to watch a Javanese traditional shadow puppet performance, also known as Wayang. This event was part of the Indonesian government's mission to promote the arts, music and culture of Indonesia in Australia. Yes, uh, this Wayang uh, Kulit performance is very important for us. Uh, this is the largest uh, performance in Australia. By doing this, we hope that we can promote uh, Indonesian culture uh, to international community in Canberra. And uh, culture is part of soft diplomacy. As we know that uh, so far in a political relationship between Indonesia and Australia is not, sometimes it's not, not good, sometimes it's good. So the soft diplomacy, people to people link is very important. The theatre was filled with Australians and Indonesians of varying professions and ages, from children to the elderly. Uh, this is not merely a performance by the uh, uh, master puppeteers and so on, but this is also a performance of a philosophy of life of the Indonesian people. The traditional gamelan ensemble accompanying the wine performance consisted of Indonesians and Australian musicians. But of course, the Wayang performance was not a typical traditional Wayang performance. The dialogue was in English and used many references to Western popular culture and Australian current affairs. People will understand uh, the story, follow the plot. By that, doing that during the performance, you will get response from the audience, the interaction between the performance and the audience. This way, both Indonesians and Australians could enjoy Indonesian culture. I thought it was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. The puppets were amazing. They're so intricate and beautiful. It's a really, really great show. A woman in West Java turns seashell waste into beautiful decorative handcraft and furniture. Nurhandia exports Capis Row shells to the Philippines, but she realized there was economic potential in the shells wasted at her home to Town Beach. Her products range from chandeliers to decorative lamps, faces and frames. To find out more about this unique craft, watch Indonesia now this Sunday at 6.30 a.m. with Andini Effendi. In our top entertainment news, Scarlett Johansson is ranked this year's Hollywood's top grossing actress. Nick Jonas and Demi Lovato kicked off their North America tour. And the new single, Bubblegum by Mystery Jets, is released on YouTube. I'm Stephanie Silitonga. Thank you for watching and have a lovely weekend. Scarlett Johansson has taken the crown as Hollywood's highest grossing actress ever. A